Hey, it's Jennifer again. I know I'm a little late on my review, but the Pretty Little Liars Christmas episode just aired, and I was pretty much right on my theories video. I said that uh, the person in the white hood would be Cece. So glad that Cece is back. Holy crap. I love Cece. Anyways, it was a cute little tender moment between Allie and Cece when they went through that little uh, winter wonderland maze. And how about Cindy and Mindy? How they're dressed as Cece and as... Um, as Allie, and then they tricked the liars. Who was it? Uh, Emily and Arya that went after her, and uh, they totally tricked them. Uh, the only thing that was disturbing was Allie kissing Holbrook. Um, I'm not sure is uh, what she's trying to do is like. Um, well, of course he lost his credibility. In my eyes, he did. I, I thought he was going to be the one guy that wasn't such a damn pervert on this show. I don't know why every guy's a fucking pervert. Why? Um. So I don't know if she has some, if she did it to have something on him to make sure that she, that he wasn't A or, or whatever he's doing or, I, I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I'm still debating on why she did it. I don't know if she was thanking him for a favor. I don't want to say that she was thanking him for a favor because I don't want Allie to be bad at all. I know she looks really shady right now and I pretty much guessed also in my theory video that she was pretty much going to be in jail. And that she wouldn't, she wouldn't be out of jail, and until probably around the the five B finale, which I'm pretty, I, I'm pretty sure I'm dead on with my theories. Um, of course, you see Mona, she came back, and she was, <laughs> she, I don't know, it was funny every time I laughed because Mona was just like, oh, it's not gonna be that easy, bitch, and I don't know. I mean, it was sad. All the Allison parts to me were sad. She was alone for Christmas. I was happy that Cece showed up and, and she brought her a gift of perfume and stuff like that, but the only thing I'm wondering is that we know that Cece left the country because she killed an officer, Officer Wilden. She killed him. Uh, so she needed an alibi and she left. Um, so, I mean, would she risk all that just to see Allison on Christmas? Maybe. I mean, she could just be that awesome, awesome of a person. Uh, not sure, but... Uh, I mean, as much as I want Cece to be good and be genuinely like a friend to Allison, I just feel like there's some shadiness behind her, that there's something going on. I mean, I don't know. I love Cece. Cece's badass. I was so happy to see her last night. And uh, let's see what else happened. Um, we find out that Paige, her parents are actually making, forcing her to get out of that hellhole and uh, forcing her to go to California. So, um, she gets out of the hellhole, pretty much. I, uh, I know Emily was sad, sort of. I don't know. I think, I mean, as much as I like Lindsay Shaw, I feel like the PLL writers didn't give her much of an opportunity to expand her character. Uh, Paige was always, like, a one-dimensional person. I mean, I liked her in season one when she was all crazy psycho, and she did try to drown Emily. But ever since then, she's always been like a love-stricken puppy. And I would just wish she had more more depth to her character. I mean, I would have loved it if Paige turned out to be like bad in some way. Part of the A-team or whatever. I mean, I know they had their little skepticism early on. But, I mean, I would have I liked it if she had if she was like A or black, whoever. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, anyways, I think that's going to be it for Paige. Uh, she pretty much... That's it. I guess uh, she's going to go transfer to California, go to Stanford, and live happy, uh, ha happily ever after, which is fine by me. Um, this way, it gives more chance for Emerson. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the angst, and I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that Emerson is not going to get together at all during 5B. I mean, not like romantically. I don't know. I would really love to be surprised at the end of 5B, though, when Allison gets out of jail and they reunite and ugh. Awesome. But another thing was um, that we know Spencer and Emily are going to go find out clues. Like, they're skeptical. They, oh, well, maybe, uh, you know, Allison's not really guilty of uh, killing Mona, which she's not. To me, she's not. I never, I know she's not the, uh, Mona's killer. But uh starting to think Cece is, though. That's a badass bitch right there. You got to watch out for Cece. Um, I would really love it. I know somebody had uh, said something in, uh, in a forum I'm in that, uh, what if uh, Emily goes and visits Allison in jail and they talk and Allison, since she's going to be stuck, she has nothing else to do but think and ponder on shit. And maybe she'll come to the realization like, hey, I'm in love with Emily. 
maybe I should tell her how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I would love that so much. Like, Allison, just fuck it. I'm stuck in here. If Emily comes to visit me, I'm going to tell her flat out. I love her. I always loved her. And blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, I would love that. Anyways, uh, another thing. Uh, Spencer and Hannah go to find evidence against Allie in uh, Allison's house. And Hannah's upstairs, and she rips through this, uh, like, faux wall, or, you know, just paper wall, and uh, finds this little jack-in-the-box. She does this, and then, uh, whatever the clue, it mad hatter, and then she sees a box of, uh, uh, well, a stack of uh, hat boxes over there, where she finds notes that are from Bethany to Allison, which, I mean, Allie's a smart-ass bitch. There's no way in hell that if she was A, which she's not, that she would leave all this evidence. She's obviously being framed. And then we see uh, this black hoodie come in with a knife. You know, Spencer's on the table trying not to be seen. And then uh, black hoodie runs upstairs and, like, knocks Hannah out and then jumps out a window. <laughs> I mean, she had a knife. What? I mean, what is that about? I mean, if that was really A, or I'm pretty sure somebody's just trying to scare him, but if that was really A, just stab a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you just... Knock him out. It, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Either way, um, <laughs> I don't know. I just why, why? I mean, just stab a bitch. One, one liar down. Go. Uh, after that, uh, Hannah comes up and she doesn't really say anything. Spencer's like, "Oh, you okay?" And that was that. And then they go to the Christmas dinner scene. I'm sort of confused. I'm just saying, like. Obviously, they're just trying to be scared. Oh, I was going to say, um, someone was obviously still in the attic because you see that, that ugly baby, the baby face thing, and you see the eyes, which it looks like Cece's eyes. As much as I'd like Cece to be genuine with Allison, look, I don't know. Well, I mean, she could have just, like, oh, maybe those are, you know, maybe those bitches are going to your house and they're going to be snooping through your shit or something like that. So Cece went and... I'm just scared of them. You never know. Um, after that, they have the the Christmas dinner, the Christmas dinner, and you see pedo fits and all them all happy and go lucky and all the shit. Uh, none of the parents are coming because there's oh my bad. They're supposed to go meet their parents with their grandparents or some shit, but they all got snowed out. And uh, another sad part, you see Allison going and and peeping through the window and. She's all by herself. I mean, I wish they could have shown a scene where Allison and Cece were just like, you know, having their own little Christmas thing. Why they have to show Allison looking through the window all sad, looking at all these other couples having such a great time? To me, it made me feel bad. You know, like, poor Allie. Hashtag poor Allie. That's how I feel. I love Allison. And then after that, Allison goes. Um, then all the liars go outside. And uh, I'm pretty sure it was the barn or something. And then you see... Uh, these lights light up on the side of the barn that say, Merry Christmas, bitches. Hey. And they're like, what the fuck? Can't get away from, <laughs> can't get away from shit. So anyways, um, pretty much what I predict, Holt, for the rest of 5B, Holbrook is going to come into the play somewhere. I don't know if he got Allison off. I would, I would, I was hoping that he didn't get Allison off for anything. You know, like, I was hoping that he was going to be a good guy for once, but it looks like a bad perm lady. Uh, Sergeant Tanner is maybe the only decent uh, adult on the show. There ain't no telling. And of course, I know that Allison is going to be in jail for the majority of 5B because the liars fucking turn her in with bullshit evidence. I, I, it's obvious that A framed her, and then the liars are just going to turn her in, hand her over, and then they're going to be like, oh shit, why do we do that? We're dumb as fuck. So that's why Emily and Spencer are, are going to go and figure out what's really going on. And stuff like that. And I think they're gonna they're gonna find something to help her get out of jail or whatever. And I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping this I mean, I don't know, this better be worth it, man, because the thing that makes the show for me is Allison. I love Allison. Her character is so in depth and so fascinating. I the mis the way that she acts and all that stuff is just uh like, uh, she's not a one-dimensional character. She's very three-dimensional, four-dimensional, hell. I mean, she has so many layers to her. I mean, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to find out. And, uh, shit, I guess 
I'll come back after every episode of 5B and uh, update, do a little review, do a little theories. I mean, I know this wasn't a very good review, but shit, I just felt like talking about it. Um, shit. In the in the comments section below, uh, let me know your theories, what you think is going to happen for the rest of 5B. Uh, let me know if you were if you were right and what you thought was going to happen uh, in the Christmas episode. Uh, we're going to have to wait till January 6th for the rest of 5B to start. Um, just hit me up, message me, anything like that. Uh, I'll be happy to hear from you. All right, y'all have a good night.